Senator Dudfall. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Welcome, Minister. My question concerns C-29 that you tabled just before the summer break at the House of Commons. This bill responds to the calls to action 53 to 56 from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission monitoring and implementing the calls to action by the government. That includes C-15, which regards the implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the Right of Indigenous Peoples. How do you see the relationship between this new council and the government action to implement UNDRIP? Will there be uh, monitoring of this action by the government? Uh, accountability, monitoring, Indigenous people in particular, Rosemary Cooth, uh, Cooper and others throughout the Canada, Indigenous uh, spokespeople throughout the country, will also be present to tell the government how far we've made it w with the calls to action proposed by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. This bill was required in the calls to action, 53 and 56, that is, to create a well-financed, independent re uh, council to ensure that the Canadian government and other institutions respond to these call to calls to action. so that the government can't claim that calls to action have been accomplished without the indigenous without indigenous agreement we are continuing to fulfill these calls to action but we do need an independent council to ensure that uh, this work is done it seems natural to me that there would be a bill and i hope it will pass in the house and here in the senate i'm impatiently waiting for your feedback on it. Perhaps something needs to be done to amend it. Uh, it's very important for reconciliation.